Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Digital, and today I'm going to be showing you the best render settings for gaming videos to upload to YouTube. So as you can see right here, I have a video that I want to upload. I'm going to go ahead and click on file up here and then render as. Now, the first thing you're going to see is that there are a lot of different formats to pick from. Now, there are two main formats that you're going to want to have a look at, and that is going to be Magic's AVC and the MP3 audio. Uh, the MP3 audio is for if you're just rendering, you know, like a voiceover or something and you don't want a video track, this is what you're going to want to use. But if you're rendering a gaming video of gameplay, etc., you're going to want to use this top one, the Magix AVC AAC MP4. So this next step is based largely on the quality you want to render as. If you want to render as 4K, you can go ahead and click on this top option. If you want to render in 1080p, you can click on this bottom option. And uh, yeah, you just want to decide what sort of quality you want. Now, for me, I'm going to go ahead and render this as 4K. So I'm going to click on the top internet UHD 1020 60p 59.94 FPS. We just click on that and then customize the template right here. Now, this thing will pop up right here. And uh, we want to render as 4K, so I'm going to leave it like this. However, if you want to render it in, say, 2K, you can go ahead and click on custom frame size right here. Just type in 2560. Uh, the end 1440 right there now make sure that allow source or just frame size is set off because that is just going to completely mess up everything so make sure that is off next you're going to decide your frame rate so for me i'm going to use uh double ntc or whatever uh 59.94 is 60 you know you can also just type in 60 if you want to do that uh, it really doesn't matter too much uh, field order, make sure that's set to none, pixel aspect ratio 1, number of reference frames uh, 2, and right here we get to a very important step, which is going to be variable and constant bitrate. Now bitrate is essentially, it is the quality of the video, but the bitrate will also heavily adjust or impact the file size. So the higher your bitrate is, the bigger the file size. Now, for YouTube, the uh, YouTube can only show a maximum of a 50 million bitrate, so that is what I'm going to render as. Now, as you can see, I can't actually change uh, to constant bitrate, so I'm going to go up here into include video and just uncheck that and check it again. Now, I can go and go to constant bitrate. I can select this drop down. I can select 50. If you want to make it really high quality, you can select 135. However, it won't make a difference when you are rendering a video for YouTube. I would also like to mention that if you are a smaller channel, you really should never render under 2K. This is because the codec that YouTube gives you will make the video look significantly worse. And the codec is based on the frame size if you are a smaller channel. If you are on the bigger side, it does not really matter. You can render in 1080p and you'll get a good codec. Uh, but if you are a smaller channel, do keep in mind that you will want to render in at least 2K. Now we go down to encode mode, main concept AVC. We can just go ahead and leave it at that. RC mode, we can leave it at VBR right there. We can go ahead and head over to audio. We can just leave it at that. If you want to include audio, uh, you have this checked. If you don't want to include audio, you uncheck it system we can leave it like this and project we can leave it like this as well rendering quality we just make sure to set that the best this is based on your project settings so if you aren't entirely sure just select that at best now everything should be good to go we can select okay and you want to render or you want to select where you want your render to go so for me that's going to be right here uh, and i can also just go ahead and select documents right there if i want to it really just depends on which drive you want to render to now, once you're done with that, we can go down here, just select Untitled, we just delete that, and we can uh, name this, say, Gaming Video. And we just select Render, and it will start rendering. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to show some support, you know. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you boys, and uh, peace.